Hey guys, it's Brandon with Investment Joy, and the channel has been growing like crazy. We've got like 50,000 new subscribers within a past month. Uh, my videos have been displayed, or at least thumbnail-wise, like 25 million people this month. And I am thrilled with the growth of the channel. I even got an uh, email last night from Raid Shadow Legends asking to sponsor a video. This video isn't sponsored by them, but I know that because they have emailed me, I have arrived. So I wanted to take all this while I'm driving around in my Tesla Model EX and cash in all of my YouTube karma and all of the growth and just crash it overnight or as soon as this video comes out to talk to you guys about financial scams because I'm going to step on a lot of toes. I've already prepared myself for the negative comments, the dislikes, so please like the video and subscribe before you watch the rest of it because I need to offset all the unlikes because we're going to step on a lot of toes. Long story short, guys, if you want to be wealthy and make money, it's going to be over time. L slow and steady wins the, wins the race, um, not overnight success. I did a video on how to make $100,000 in 48 hours. It went over very well. And um, lots of good, good feedback on it, but man, people hate it when you tell them that they can't be rich overnight. And so for me, slow and steady means ETF funds. Um, you can go in the link description and get some free stocks from Webull. They're not sponsoring this video, but I like talking about it because it takes like three minutes or so to open up a Webull account. You can open up a, a traditional or Roth IRA in under five minutes. I think I did it in three minutes. You can get free stocks, and if you can do it today while you're sitting on your phone. Um, so if you want to do the slow and steady thing, please for it, has, it doesn't have to be Webull. Just open up a, some sort of account and start buying. Um, ETFs, low managed cost ETFs. Please do that. Number one, what's the number one thing that people ask me about that I hate? It's Forex. Holy crap, I hate Forex. Forex is garbage. You should never touch it with a 10 foot pole. And yes, I'm passionate about all these things. And the reason I'm passionate about these things I'm talking about is because I've had friends lose money. And Forex is one of them. Uh, one of my friends has lost between fifty and hundred thousand dollars on Forex. He won't tell me because he's too embarrassed. And he's embarrassed because from day one, the very first day that he got into this Forex scam, this Forex stuff, he said, "Oh my gosh, Brandon, I have found a way to make money by using 100x leverage." Brandon, why are you doing this real estate stuff? You're really not that smart. You need to take this Forex course with me and do it and we can both make money together. And I said, no, no, we don't, because I have never met, and this is probably, this, you know, this was five, six, seven years ago, I was asked to participate in a Forex investment club. And I told them no, because I've never met anybody that's ever been wealthy off of Forex. And um, I was berated and belittled, and the person has lost, I guess, I, I imagine six figures. I don't know how much money they've left, because they lost, because they won't tell me. Um, so that's my number one thing I truly, truly dislike. Number two scammy thing are altcoins. Uh, and I'm, I, I guess I should say scammy altcoins. I'm not a, um, I have nothing against Bitcoin. I have nothing against the big altcoins like, like let's say Litecoin, Ripple. Um, I'm okay on um, Ethereum or Electrum, no, Ethereum. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay on those, but man, there's a lot of scam altcoins out there. And as I commented on discord a couple hours before shooting this video they said oh yeah you need to do one and um talk about all the altcoins that are ripping people off and i remember getting a white paper probably two years ago on what i thought was a really great uh altcoin even though i've always been off standish about stuff like that other than litecoins okay and um I thought, man, this is a cool coin. I should maybe, I was really considering investing in it because it was uh, corporate governance, blockchain, IPO type stuff. And I, which I, I, I like the idea of corporate governance on a blockchain. And I thought, man, I might sink some money into this. And the white paper was talking about how the blockchain hit, helped uh, KYC, AML, corporate governance and stuff. And then I actually joined their, their Slack channel. And I started asking their crew about um, those kinds of things. You know, how are you going to help corporate governance? How does Kate, what, Casey um, know your client work? How does anti-money laundering work? And beyond those two terms, 
being in the white paper, there wasn't a single person attached to the organization that um, has never, they essentially had never knew, they, they, they had no concept of um, what those things actually were other than name dropping them in the white paper. Now, one of the notes I will make is if you want to put some money in Bitcoin and stuff like that, feel free to just don't put all your money in it. Um, I, I'm not a fan of single stocks, just like I'm not a fan of buying um, individual, like a bunch of uh, coins and stuff like that. Take a little bit of your money that you have on your investments. Keep buying ETFs. Uh, keep buying things that are long-term investments, like uh, you know, just Vanguard type stuff. Uh, those tend to do very well over time. Number three are options. I hate options. Um, my one friend that lost all the money on Forex, he transitioned because he was dumping money on Forex. It was losing. It was going down in value. And then he took an options course. And then he came to me again. He said, well, you know, I don't want to talk about how badly Forex is doing for me, but um, I've discovered options and we should get into options trading, brand. And I said, heck no. Because this is a year later. My real estate stuff's starting to do well. I think this was in 2013, 2014 when he came back to me with options. And I said, no, I don't have any interest whatsoever in doing options. Long story short, he's now down half a million dollars. And um, this is the same guy that's very likely going to lose um, an inheritance. He's getting, getting cut out of a will because of his poor financial choices over the course of the last 10 years. Um, I, the rumor is the estate that um, he would be inheriting is worth 23 or $23.5 million. And he's losing it because of bad choices. And I've constantly told him, long-term thinking wins the race. But long-term thinking doesn't sound good when you are looking at somebody's option portfolio and it looks like they're making all this money. Now, I have met over the course of time two or three people that have traded options as insurance to offset their stocks and they've done okay. But I'm telling you, if you're watching this video and you, aren't, you haven't made money on options, don't touch it with a 10 foot pole. Please, please, please don't do that. Um, just, it's so easy to lose money. Um, it's just like Forex with high leverage. It's so easy to lose money on that stuff. And in that meantime, you could have got a side hustle. You could have done something else. Put money in Vanguard type funds, ETFs, S&P 500, and you could be up like, my kids are up 22% in a year and a half on boring Vanguard funds. Um, the next one is essentially, and this is a blanket thing, pyramid schemes, MLM, anything that requires that you pay a fee to sell somebody's product. And I hate to group every direct sales marketing thing in here, which I'm, I don't want to group them all together, um, but anything that has a high buy-in fee where you're selling somebody else's product. I'm trying to differentiate what my friend Eddie, my, tra my personal trainer does, because um, he sells something called Zervita. It's pretty decent. It's I, I've had it before. It's like Monster, um, and it's not. It's the same price as Monster. And I said, how much does it cost to sign up for that thing? It's like five bucks. Okay, well that's neat. That's better than the grape juice thing that my uh, I can't say who it was. Someone in my family was selling ten years ago, and the sign up fee was five hundred dollars to buy bottled grape juice at fifty dollars a piece. And I had the bottled grape juice in my cabinet for something like what six years and then the grape juice the the glass on the grape juice stuff was thin and um i did a tear down of one of these um they're not pyramid schemes because pyramid schemes are cash stacking things that are illegal this is this specific one was a direct sales thing where you're not selling anything. You are selling licenses, which is on the borderline of being a pyramid type deal. But the FTC says pyramid schemes are illegal. And um, I, was rep I was given this opportunity to participate in a wealth building strategy with a bunch of wealthy individuals. And it was selling um, deregulated electricity uh, in the state of Ohio. We've deregulated electricity in the way that you don't have to buy it off your local power plant. You could buy it off a wind farm, solar farm. You could buy it off nukes, um, which uh, deregulations, it is what it is. That's another 20 video series. 
But um, I was approached by somebody that said, would you like to make money in de de energy deregulation, which is something I do know about. And I said, well, I don't really think so. This is probably five years ago. So I, you know, by that point, I had, what, 20 rentals and doing well. And they said, you know, you could sell electricity to your tenants. And I thought, you know, I, I just don't like it because as you're essentially hedging on future energy prices and you can lose. And they said, no, 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 no. You're guaranteed to make money in this deal, Brandon. I'm like, well, whenever anybody tells me that there's a guarantee to make money, I know it's a scam. <laughs> if anybody tells you that it's guaranteed and money, and I, I like ETFs, but there's always a little bit of risk. I mean, the we could have a civil war tomorrow and the market could crash, but there, there's that risk. But when someone tells me it's totally guaranteed, I know it's a scam. And so um, I sat there for the presentation and... They were telling me how they were um, making money or helping people off energy deregulation. And I said, so where do you make money? And they said, oh, you, you, you get paid every time you connect somebody. And they went, and long story short, they went tell me what I would be paid to connect people with um, electricity. And long story short, after talking to the regional vice president of the company, you got $1 to hook somebody up for energy with their company. And I said, so how do you make money on it? Oh, oh, you get people in your downline and your downpipe and you make money off them because they're selling it too and it amplifies your income. I said, how does it amplify your income when you're making $1 per sale? Um, long story short, after I went through the vice president deal, you weren't selling people energy you're selling them websites for their business their energy business and for every $25 a month website template it's a template duprol deal for every template website you sell at $25 a month you get an $18 a month kickback that's where the money is and i said how can you guys not see this stuff you're not making money off energy deregulation you're making money off selling websites and that's what it is worthless websites um that didn't go over very well at all and um I was never invited back. And um, it's really, really sad. And then I know people that are successful doing direct sales marketing stuff. And not every single thing is a scam. Some of it's just really high margin stuff. You're selling a $1 widget for $10, which I, I mean, there's other um, uh, verticals and um, niches you could have a market in where that kind of margin's normal. That's okay, I guess. But the one of the terrible things is that people... Um, they get in these things and then they are building somebody else's business and they have no concept of building a business themselves, which you have to avoid. Um, the next one is day trading. Um, I've met a couple a couple successful day traders and they were the smartest human beings I, I have ever met. Um, everybody that's average um, or just, you know, decently smart. Uh, everybody I've known doing that's lost in day trading. Day trading is terrible. Um, to get the good numbers that I've talked to people about, they buy on margin. When you buy on margin, you have the chance to lose a crap load of money really quick. And it's just something, please just don't touch day trading. Um, like I said, I've known a couple of people to make money on it, but it's, it's so, so risky. Um, and it's just something you shouldn't do. Here was the list of financial scams. Um, please don't hate me. <laughs> And I'm going to be hated for the video, which is okay. Um, I'm just going to cash in the all the likes and subs that I've got, which I appreciate all you watching. But hopefully this will help you get more of that long-term thinking over the course of time rather than the get-rich-quick schemes that seem so prevalent in society. So thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it.